Alrighty guys, so you're probably wondering how did I get this generator quieter by almost three decibels? About 1.5 to 2.5 in terms of decibel reduction. Well, let's find out. So first, you'll already notice right here, you can probably see a little bit of fuzz sticking out. It's because I kind of pulled it out a little bit. But basically, I just have some of this nice woven, it looks like recycled fiber material that I actually pulled out of a door panel, a town car door panel, but I'm guessing a lot of different cars are going to have stuff like this, even non-luxury cars, but definitely you'll find this kind of stuff in luxury cars. It's a sound deadening material, it's made from recycled fibers, and I got this out of a door panel in a junkyard. And so the first step you'll see here that I took is to plug the oil fill hole on the bottom here, the, you know that little drain channel that I talked about in my overview video, un unboxing video. Well, sound can come out of there, and that's actually located right near the crankcase, obviously, where the oil fill is. So that's the first step, but oh, my friend, there's a lot more than that. So let's go ahead and pull this panel off, and I'll show you what else I've done. So what, do you ha what we have here on the panel, and it's very important that you follow this, is I have what's called closed cell foam. Now, I'll leave a link below on Amazon. Um, for the kind that I used. I bought a large roll because I was using it in an automotive sound deadening scenario or situation. Um, but if you're going to just be doing the generator alone, you can buy a pretty short roll. I'm pretty sure you can buy like a 10 foot roll or something like that, maybe less. Um, you know, you don't really need a lot. You're probably going to need, uh, I'd say 10 square feet. If you, you can get 10 square feet, it's probably going to be plenty for this. So this is the important thing to follow. You notice on this panel, I only put foam where there was already foam from the factory because you'll need this panel to fit back on side of the housing. So for this, I put foam where there's already foam. Now let's get further in here. You'll see I put more of this woven sound deadening material I got out of a door panel. Again, this stuff is basically free if you can find a junkyard. Literally just, I'm sure you go up to the guy, just grab a bunch out of a door panel that's sitting on the ground. It doesn't need to be specific. Walk up to the guy to check out, and be, he's going to be like, yeah, I don't even worry about that. You know what I mean? So this is really inexpensive if you, if you can find a, a salvage yard or junkyard. Now, you see, I kind of cut it to size. I left the oil fill area sort of open. And also, this is very important, okay, if you're going to be using this type of material. It is very important that you take measurements of the temperature of the crank and the block and, and, and the, uh, the, the head of the, of the uh, engine before and after you do sound deadening because if you put too much of this in the wrong areas it has the more than enough potential to overheat the engine so what you want to do is first of all figure out where the airflow is coming from on this engine so on this engine the airflow comes from the fan and then blows out the rear in a area where the exhaust is so i'll go ahead and show you right around here where the exhaust is this entire area has a little gasket on the inside and this entire area you'll feel air, hot air coming out and that's the exhaust coming from here but also the uh, cooling air that's now obviously picked up heat from the engine and is blowing out here. So you do not want to block this at all. So what I did was I took measurements with, a, with an infrared uh, thermometer of the block, the crank bottom here as well as up here close to the uh, back here. Um, by what's what I thought was the alternator assembly, but I could be wrong and then also up here by the carb and I took measurements everywhere and I didn't want to see any more than a few degrees in increase of temperature at most and uh, If you see more than that definitely don't do this. You're gonna just want to Avoid doing this, but what you can do is do the next step here so what I did before I did this material and placing that in there, which is some might find sloppy and might not want to do it. As you'll see in there, I've got more closed cell foam. And again, only put foam where there's already foam from the factory. I didn't put any foam on this thing that there wasn't already foam from the factory. And this is just adding on to the original factory sound deadening. I put some onto this lip here too, it's hard to see. And all along here, you know, as well. And also I'll include some pictures of me doing the front behind the front electrical panel since trying to get to it from this side is pretty difficult.
All right, so here is the uh, front electrical panel removed. You can see all the connections there, and it's sealed with a type of hot glue. But this is what we're concerned about. This is the back part behind the panel, and there's plenty of room for sound deadening. So I went ahead and I started with the bottom part. As you can see, I cut the foam pieces to not overlap and uh, just enough. And here is the finished deadening. And notice I left room for the wiring and for the fuel lever. And there it is, the panel's going back on and there's just two more screws to put on. But that's a pretty simple process. So now that I've, you know, you've done the foam, this was the last step for me is putting in this material here. But really, um, that was what gave me that almost 2.5 uh, decibel reduction in noise. And uh, it was quite impressive. I mean, it's already a very quiet generator. This is what's going to take it to that Honda level quiet. And, uh, you know, it's not a secret, guys. It's not rocket science here. It's just sensible sound deadening. And, of course, if I really wanted to reduce the sound, I'd use something like closed cell, uh, I'd use something like uh, mass loaded vinyl. But mass loaded vinyl, as its name would imply, is heavy, very heavy. Um, and although it would do a good job deadening the sound, it would also add significantly to the weight to a generator that I already don't want to have to carry too far. So, in conclusion, uh, be smart about this, and like I said, take temperature readings. You do not want to overheat an air-cooled engine, um, so please just be careful about this. And if you have any doubts, just do the closed cell foam mod, and don't add in this woven material that I showed you here. It's not necessary, and you'll still get a very good reduction with just the closed cell foam on the existing uh, foam areas. But anyway, guys, that's the that's how I did it. It's not a secret. It's not rocket science. And all, again, all the links will be below for the materials that you can use. They are just suggestions, but um, you could find other companies and stuff on Amazon that sell this stuff. But I'm just showing you what is a, uh, a good example of that stuff um, for the closed cell phone. But anyway, guys, that's it. That's how I quieted my generator down without a lot of uh, expensive materials.